Hi, I'm Sean Gann, and this is MintMath, and today we're going to learn about evaluating functions, and we're going to evaluate each function. So, if I was given this function, k of a is equal to negative 4 to the 3a plus 2 power, and we want to find k of a minus 2. So every single time we see an a, we need to plug in an a minus 2. So we have k here of a minus 2 is equal to negative 4 to the 3 times a minus 2 power. Remember that a, we plug in an a minus 2, and then we have plus 2. So this one gets a little tricky, because all of really what's happening is going to be in that exponent. All right? So we have k now of a minus 2, let's bring that down. We have minus 4 to the power, we need to distribute this 3. So 3 times a is a 3a, and 3 times a minus 2 is a minus 6. And then we have a plus 2 over here. So now we need to simplify that exponent a little more, combine the negative 6 and the positive 2. So we have k of a minus 2 is equal to negative 4 time, uh, to the power of 3a, and then minus 6 plus 2 is a minus 4. And so at this point, we have a negative 4 to the 3a minus 4 power. There's really nothing we can do. We can't take 4 to that power because we don't know what the variable a is. And so our final answer here is written as is. k of a minus 2 is equal to negative 4 to the power of 3a minus 4. So let's recap. We're given k of a is equal to negative 4 to the 3a plus 2 power. And we defined k of a minus 2. Every single time we see an a, we plug into a minus 2. So right there, and then, so if k of a minus 2 is equal to negative 4 to the power of 3 times that a minus 2. That's what the second one was. And then we add the 2 in the exponent. So <clears throat> we simplify that. We distribute the 3 to both parts, giving me 3a minus 6. And then I combine the negative 6 and the positive 2 to be a negative 4. At this point, there was no more that we can simplify. So our final answer here is just k of a is equal to, oh, sorry, k of a minus 2 is equal to negative 4 to the power of 3a minus 